to my channel it's rj welcome back welcome back welcome back thank you for coming back to hang out with me to see another great video or great content or good content whatever you want to call it but thank you for returning so as you can see i already did my eyebrows i have on the anastasia whiz pencil from anastasia beverly hills and the inside i use the elf pomade in dark brown on my eye shadow i use on my eyelids i use the urban decay palette um i don't know if you remember this urban decay palette this is an old palette but it's good it's pigmented i love this palette very pigmented um i use this color which i believe is hell ride and i use this color which is wild heart wild heart um it's it's october month and it's cancer month to everyone that lost anyone um, to cancer in their family, whether it's um, your your family or animals, because they are our family as well. Um, to anyone that lost anyone to cancer, and anyone that's fighting or battling cancer, may God be with you. May God continue to give you great strength. Um, may he give you family peace. And may he continue to guide you. And my condolences are with all that lost someone to cancer. And those who are still fighting the battle, continue to fight that battle. Never give up. Continue to fight that battle. I'm going to use the Tasha Canvas Silk Primer. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this. But I'm going to just do that where my face gets oily at. And you're only going to use this in the T-zone. And you use primer in the T-zone. Primer, all it does, my T-zone, I have oily combination skin. And what oily combination skin is, is that you get oily, more oilier in certain spots of your face than other areas, okay? So when it's a T-zone, it's, it's usually the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, and the chin. So that's what you call the T-zone, because it's a T-zone. I'm going to put some primer here and this is going to just try to hold me back just a little bit hold my foundation in place a little bit longer setting powder and that's also to just you know keep the oil at bay just a little bit for foundation i'm going to use the Too Faced born this way foundation in the shade chestnut um chestnut may be a little bit off for me um, but we're going to lose chestnut. And I'm going to blend that in with the Morphe 439 brush. This is kind of like a kabuki brush, but the density is good. Um, anytime, if you're new to putting on makeup, when you put on makeup, it's always important to find out your undertones because your undertones is what foundation you need. Now, undertones come in neutral, they come in warm, pink, red, olive. I'm warm or like a yellow, and you probably could see from here, or you probably could see my chest. So it's like yellow undertones, like I have yellow. Now, if you look at your skin, if your skin is looking like mine, then usually you would need like a warm foundation. Any foundations that have the undertones with warm in them, then that would work great for you. Um, neutral might work. Neutral works sometimes with me as well, but I usually buy warm foundation with the tone, undertone warm. But it's important before you buy foundation. If you're new to buying foundation, you need to find out what is your undertone. And then you can find out what shade you are, okay? So always that's important. Find out your undertone, okay? So let's get it. Don't forget, I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at myself. So... I'm going to use this big Urban Decay while I got it. And I'm just going to use this um, brush. So just pretty. Right? Spots on. Do you see that? This is an old foundation. It's not new. But it is a goodie. So we're going to just use it today. You're using foundation. It's very important for you to set the foundation. Now, you need to set the foundation so that your foundation don't slide 
or don't move about or don't crease throughout the day. Um, well, it's going to crease eventually, but you want to just set it so that it can last for a certain amount of time. Some foundations do last for a day from drugstore to Sephora to Ulta. It doesn't matter. It all depends on how you set your foundation. Maybelline is a very good foundation. L'Oreal is another great foundation. Um, Revlon has some great foundations, but like I was saying, so drugstore, it doesn't matter if it's drugstore or if it's Sephora or if it's Ulta, it's foundation. A lot of um, contributing factors when you buying foundation. Like I said, it's, it's always important to have a great skincare. I'm going to come to you and do my skincare, what works for me. I think I have great skin. Um, so you need to have good skin. And take care of your skin. Um, drink water, wash your face, wash the makeup off. So you need skin care. That's for one. Another thing is you need to know your undertone. You need to know your undertone. That's what shades you are. Like warm, neutral, pink, red, um, whatever it is. You need to know your undertone. That's for your foundation. The next thing you're going to need is that you need to know if you oily, combination, normal skin, dry skin. You need to know that as well because that's important when you're picking out foundations because some foundations are matte, which is for, like myself, I love matte foundation. That's because I'm oily combination skin. I have oily combination skin. So I love the matte foundations more than the dewy. Now, sometimes I do like dewy, the dewy look or that glow look as we call it. But most and overall, I like matte foundation. That's what you, you know, us all the girls like. Now, if you're dry skin, then you might want to have those uh, oily foundation or hydrating foundations. You might want to look for anything that says hydrating, um, glowy skin. Those are usually like for dry skin or normal skin. And sometimes we pick it up, like the Fenty Beauty, her, her new Hydrate and Foundation. It's good. I like it and I use it sometimes, not often, because I'm oily combination skin. So you need to know that. And it's important. And it, like I said, and then anything after that, then like I said, you just need good primers, good setting powders. All you're doing is basing your skin. That's it. You know, and it's not much. You don't have to apply all that on your skin. Great foundation is your skin knowing your skin type. The next one is knowing your undertone. And the next one is just finding out how you apply your, your foundation. And that's it. So now I'm gonna use the Terracotta, T-E-R-R-O-C-O-T-T-A, I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. And this is it. And I'm in the shade 07, excuse me. I'm in the shade 07. And what I'm going to do is just put this on my face so that my foundational slip slide, do a dance on me. So, um, that's all it is. I don't, I don't want it to slide from the left to the right. I, I need my foundation to stay in place. So I'm going to use the Morphe E1 brush and I'm going to just set my, my foundation. That's it. I'm just going to set it. That's what you call setting the foundation. You have lines. We all have lines. Sometimes, you know, it, it, some of them are unavoidable. You know, we you, you have them. They're going to be there and they're going to be noticeable. So what you want to do is minimize it as much as possible. You want to minimize your lines in your face. So usually I, with my looks and my foundation, I try not to apply too much product underneath my eye. Um, and that's just to eliminate some of the lines or do not make them so noticeable. Okay, so that's all that is. So sometimes when you see people doing that on their makeup tutorials, usually that's what the reason is, is that, you know, you're just trying to minimize the lines in your face from appearing and showing. These are great foundations. I have Too Faced, I have a lot of the foundations. I have drugstore foundation. And it doesn't matter what you, how you use it, how much, how little bit, it's what you prefer to use. And you might want to splurge. The foundation is wearable. Any foundation is wearable. Don't get caught up into that hype of spending the money. Okay? And I'm going to come back. I'm going to stop right there because I just wanted you to get the gist of a foundation. And your skin type, your undertone, um, and what primers you use and stuff like that. It's just 
it's hand in hand with each other. It don't have to be expensive. It can be inexpensive, it could be affordable. You know, so if you like my video, if you like my content and you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button and thumbs up. Again, hit that notification button, subscribe, which is important. Come back and watch more great videos. Thank you. Let's make it do what it do.